Hello boys and girls, Demonizer here, and I have bad witness to possibly the worst porno I've ever seen. Yeah. Anyway, does anyone remember Emma Sulkalot, or, or Sulkawix, or whatever her last name is? You know, the mattress girl? The girl whose claim of false rape didn't really work out for her, so she lugged a mattress around. Name protest. Oh, rape happens on the school campus. It happened to me. No, it didn't. Shut up. Stop being a. F Stop going against me, you cisgender scum. No, this joker. Yeah. Even like that through her graduation. Well done. Well, it's taken a while, but she's figured out that if you put that mattress in a bed frame and got some guy to have sex with you in front of some cameras, you can actually make yourself a porno. Uh, I mean, an art film. <clears throat> and that's what she's done. Why? I don't know. Possibly to stay relevant in the news. Because after all, all she's got is that mattress and a degree in gender studies. And let's face it, that's not going to help anything. Need to pay the bills somehow. So, make an art film. Yeah, man, call it a not recreation of what allegedly happened, which didn't happen. Yeah. That's what she's claiming, is that it's not a recreation of that fateful day where she decides to make a false rape claim. No. It's a whole bloody thing. And she seems to have pulled out of her ass. And I agree. No, she's not, it's not a recreation of that rape, because after all, how can you recreate something that doesn't exist? Or that never play happened in the first place. I mean, that'd be like me if I recreated the epic battle between the Titanic and the Hindenburg. How the fuck am I supposed to recreate something that never, ever bloody happened? Although, to be fair, watching these two go at it somehow uh, would actually be far more interesting than the fucking, well, than her bloody video. I can tell you that much straight off the bat. Oh, God. This was painful to watch. But what was worse was going through all the text here. I mean, I'll leave a link in the description for you to actually have a look. But, oh, dear God. Yeah. There you go, I'll copy the link for you. So that way you know. But anyway, here we have... have I don't know, however you want to pronounce it. Sessi Nest Paz one. Vile, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I imagine it's French, but from what I've read, is mean this is not a rape. No, it's not a rape. It's a crap film. Uh, no idea what the hell this is. I don't know, asses, starts. Anyway, oh, suppose I better read the trigger warning at the beginning here, because I know some people are delicate little snowflakes who get upset and cry and at the very notion of something that could be upsetting to them. Anyway, trigger warning. The following text contains allusions to rape. Oh, well, shit, that's it. I'm sorry, I'm triggered. I have post my stress disorder. Goodbye. I'm out. I'm gone. Ah! Where's my play -no? Where's my safe room? Oh wait, I forgot. You know, it doesn't affect man, apparently. Double standards. Anyway, everything that takes place in the following video is consensual, and may, but may resemble rape. It is not a reenactment, bullshit, but may seem like one. If at any point you are triggered or upset, please proceed with caution and or exit this website. However, I do not mean to be uh, perceptive. Uh, for many people enjoy... Well, for many people, find pleasure in feeling upset. Yes. So, don't be upset, but then again, I know some people enjoy being upset. And then they go to Tumblr and complain about how upset they are and demand special treatment. Anyway. Yeah, and. And the video was here somewhere. Hmm. There was a little click thing. And, well, okay, typical, it could not be loaded. <sighs> Way to go. 
Anyway, I'll give you a breakdown of what actually bloody happened in the video, I guess. Uh, uh, typical. Try to show something that doesn't want to be shown. But anyway, it starts off with uh, Mattress Girl, with some guy who we don't know and has a blurred face. I guess we'll just call him Bob for the sake of it. He's not even credited in this thing. I guess you want to remain anonymous or something. Who knows? Right. So Bob and Emma are pretty much walking, you know, pretty much uh, making out as soon as they get into the room. You don't really see much of the making out because Bob's face is obscured. Anyway, you have uh, well four screens in the video, camera one to four, and from different angles. None of the angles give you a good view of what's actually going on, but still. Anyway, Bob and Emma rip off each other's clothes, and it's all looking pretty consensual. Bob goes down on Emma, and then Emma returns to favour. Not that you really saw too much of uh, Bob doing Emma, yeah, but you saw a little of Emma sucking Bob's dick. So, if this was supposed to be a porno, you know, there's potential. Anyway, she grabs a condom, and gets on top of him, and go on top, up there, and a bit of missionary. And from what I saw, you know, he just gave her a smack on the face. And she said, hit me again. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's exactly what she said, but that's what I heard when I first watched it. Hit me again. And since I can't bloody watch it now because it doesn't want to load, all right, I will leave it to the audience. But then he, well, after the second smack, and you definitely heard it, it was like that. He decides to pull out, rip off the condom, and go back in again. I don't know if it went in her ass or something like that, but I way she said, ouch, she screamed a little bit and said no as he choked her, you know, choked her and just had out of like hiccups. Yeah, he just had out of and well, yeah, that was it. We're not even four minutes into the film, and it's over. Yeah, he just kind of sits there for a bit, and then gets up, grabs his clothes, walks on out, yeah, butt naked still, and she just kind of lies there for a bit, then gets up, wraps a towel around her, and, well, I still wait for the part where she calls the cops to say that she was raped. That didn't fucking happen. Yeah, instead, she makes up the bed, because yeah, it was just a mattress that was there that they fucked on. And it makes up the bed and goes to sleep. Yeah. Wow. Uh, as a porno, that was shit. You barely saw anything going on. And then, oh yeah, you did get a good view of Emma. You know, you know, fairly nice bod, pretty nice button. Got some boobs. No, definitely something you wouldn't kick out of bed. Uh, but, uh... <clears throat> Sweetheart, that was... Shit, that was pathetic. I actually laughed at the end of it because of the complete absurdity. If you're trying to pass this off as art, you need uh, a bit more crazy shit going on. You know, maybe, I don't know, throw out some weird dialogue, I guess. And just make no sense of it whatsoever. But, it, no, I've got no clue what the hell was going on, aside from it being a crappy, almost re uh, recreation of what allegedly happened. Uh, I guess this girl never heard of webcams. Or is afraid if she gets into porn, the feminazis will discommunicate her because, as, oh my god, you do porn? That's supposed to patriarchy. Uh, oh, shame on you. How dare you? You're not a real feminist. And all that other crap. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is I've seen more convincing and better details of rape in Tentacle Hentai. I'm serious. Tentacle Hentai did more convincing acts of rape than this. So, obviously, Emma's just doing this to keep the whole, I'm the victim here, feel bad for me, give me special treatment, pay attention to me, don't ignore me because I'm out of college, this is bad, help me, give me special treatment, pay attention to me. 
just another last ditch effort and well surprisingly this one's gonna stay for a while yeah anyway I'm the demonizer and I advise you if you want to watch an act of rape go watch tentacle anti seriously don't even bother with this shit I mean hell it might not even load for you anyway Goodbye, boys and girls.